and yeah it's okay if that is something that i'm okay with and it's okay if i'm of age and i'm okay with it but if i'm a minor which means i'm below the age of hi bunny welcome back to my channel or welcome if it is your first time here if you're not subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you get notified every time i post a new video and i post new videos every single wednesdays and fridays so please help me reach 1000 subscribers by hitting that subscribe button and so um for today's video i'm going to be um, talking about a matter that i take very seriously and i feel like it's something that um it's not spoken of as much and I just want to talk about this because I feel like it's important that we talk about this it's important that we start talking about this and that we start addressing this kind of matters so um, today I'm going to talk about the hero tradition and how some of the things that we do might come or might allow or normalize or make or make it okay for men to be not men but yeah for men basically most of the time um to keep doing this kind of um harm and putting this kind of harm on women so um i want to talk about um a topic that's very um sensitive to some people i want to talk about um rape and, and and sexual assault so um if that's something that you're interested in if that's something that you want to um hear about when it comes to the hero tradition and how some of our practices might make it easier or pretty much um give the men um, uh, um the perspective or the 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 the, the the feeling that it's okay to do some of the things that they do um then please stay tuned and let's get into this video okay So um, I have uh, I have my notes here and I'll be looking at them. So if I'm looking down, because I'm looking at my notes and I want to talk about this in a way that it's, you know, it's my opinion for most of it. Yes. So disclaimer, this is my opinion. This is not the opinion of, of uh, the opinion of every other hero person out there. But this is my opinion and it's my take on this um, conversation. So, um, yes, first of all, before we get into the whole um, before I get into um, what I want to say about the certain things that I, we do in our culture that we maybe should tune down a bit so we don't normalize um, rapists, so we don't um, no, uh, allow behavior that make it easier for somebody to sexually assault someone, I want to talk about the hero tradition um, how can I say family dynamic with the, within the heteros? So there's somebody that, that could be that's watching this video right now that's like um, doesn't understand how um, the dynamics of being a cousin or being a sister or being an aunt works in the uh, in the hetero culture. So I'm first gonna explain that before I get into this discussion. So first thing first. When is somebody considered your cousin in the hetero tradition? So where's in the in the in the in the white or the Western or I don't know um, where let's, let's say everybody else in most cultures would consider your cousin being um, your your cousin is considered your mom's sister or your father's sister's or your, your mom's sister or your mom's brother or your father's sister or your father's brother's child those are people that are considered your mom um, your cousins right so um, also with the Ovahera people, that's not what we consider a cousin. So what is considered a cousin in the Herod tradition is my mom's sister's, I mean, sorry, my mom's brother's child is my cousin. My mom's, my dad's sister's child is my cousin. So my mother's brother's child is my cousin. My father's sister's child is my cousin. Hope that's clear. So when is somebody my sister in the, in the hero tradition? So my mom's sister's child is my sister or brother, depending on their gender. My father's sister or brother's child is my brother or, or, or sister, depending on their gender, depending on whether they're male or female. So that leaves us with your question. So what is your mom's sister to you? And what is your mom's brother to you? What is your father's brother to you and what is your father's sister to you 
So that question brings us to when is somebody your cousin and when is somebody your aunt? No, sorry, when is somebody your mother and when is somebody your aunt and when is somebody your uncle? So in the hero culture, when some, your mother's sister's child is considered, uh, sorry, your mother's, what I meant to say, your mother's sister is considered your aunt. Your mother's brother is considered your uncle. Now, for the father, your father's brother is considered your father. And your father's brother, I mean sister, is considered your aunt. So, you only have an aunt on your father's side. So, your father's sisters, those are your aunts. And you only have an uncle on your mother's side. So, your mother's brothers, those are your uncles. Okay, so with that now being explained, when... Who can you date within your family dynamics? Yes, there are people within our family dynamics that we date in the hero culture. So who do you date or who can you have a sexual relationship with? So within the hero culture, you can have a sexual relationship with your mother's brother's child and your father's sister's child. So your uncle and your aunt skits those are the ones that you can date i'm saying by saying so for the rest of this video quick disclaimer for the rest of this video what i just explained as your aunt and your uncle right now is what i'm uh, um, according to the hero tradition is what i'm gonna use when i'm referring to somebody being your cousin or being your your, your uncle right so whenever i say sister whenever i say sister i'm referring to my mom's sister's child or my father's brother's child and whenever i say um cousin i'm referring to my mother's brother's child and my father's sister's child and whenever i say uncle i'm referring to my mom's brother and when i'm saying aunt i'm referring to my mom's what my father's sister i'm referring to my father's sister so now that we have that out of our way and we know in the hero tradition you can date your cousin it doesn't just end at cousin the only the, the person that you date is not just your cousin in some instances it is okay to date to, or to get married to your uncle um it says uh, it goes it's a saying that goes in a hero that goes okathia kakeveri that means basically how do i direct translate that okay um i don't know how to direct translate that at all like i have no idea how i can direct translate that but basically says that um there's nothing wrong with you dating your uncle and so in the hero tradition there are people that do get married to their uncles which is um rare in most cases it's very rare but with dating your cousin that's the most common and it's it's very common we date our cousins i have dated my cousin before okay cool Okay, so now, now that, I, uh, that I've spoken about that, I want to talk about what is sexual assault, what is rape, and what is sexual harassment. These are three different things, but to be honest, they are all the same thing. So, um, whatever uh, um, aftermath they leave on someone, at the end of the day, it's all the same thing. Although they are defined differently, it, it's all the same thing. Okay, it's assault. It's, it's, it's something that you do forcefully that involves sex. So, it's... So, um, what is rape? Okay, according to Wikipedia, rape is when sexual intercourse is non-consensual or a person forces another person to have sex with them. So, if you have, uh, if you force someone to have sex with you, that's what we call rape. If you have sex with someone that is not consensual which means I do not agree to their act that's considered rape okay cool so now that we know what rape is I want to talk about things that we in the hero culture do that maybe we should tone back down a little and I'm not trying to say that 
I'm not trying to look back on our, I'm not trying to bring down our culture and I'm not trying to say um, herero men are rapists, it's not a fact, there's no way where it's written that way it's like statistics were done and herero men are coming off to be rapists or whatever, we, I don't know that, okay, and so I'm not gonna say, sit here and say herero men are rapists because that's not the case, they are not, or they, they might or might not be, I don't know, okay. But I want to point out a few things that we do in our culture that make it okay for men to feel like they can do whatever they want to women. So, the first thing I want to talk about is Oramwe. So basically, this, are the, uh, this is uh, um, called cousin. So when a cousin is playing or being... Uh, um, don't get lifted. How do I, uh, when a cousin is basically playing with another cousin, like playing like, since like with our culture, it's like there's this thing where um, as cousins, you guys can play around, you know, like this pulling each other on the arm, holding each other by the waist, but like just playing around, right? So um, this is okay if me and you are both like, you know, in an agreement that we do this to each other, like. We are okay like it, 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 it's it's consensual ne? then i would say it's okay for that to be done or for a guy to come up on me and just come grab me by my waist grab me by my arm you know put their hand around me and yeah it's okay if that is something that i'm okay with and it's okay if i'm of age and i'm okay with it but if i'm a minor which means i'm below the age of 18 yeah? if i'm a minor there's no situation of you being a whole grown as man a man that's older than me me being a minor that they can play such um names so that they can play such games with 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 with, with me so parents us as parents now if you are a parent and you have this big man that's apparently your child's cousin or you know or Kathia, what uncle now it's like we should it should be our our it should be the parents responsibility because our your kid is still a minor so you as a, a, a parent it should be your responsibility to tell this man to back off from your child you know like if your child comes to you and say hey um who 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 came and touched me in an uncomfortable manner you as a parent should be able to walk up to that man walk up to that cousin the uncle and tell him that no you do not touch my child in that manner because my child is of underage okay so unless it's two kids who are in the same age group who both have agreed or who, have, who both do this kind of thing with each other and they are both okay with it and they like to play like this with each other then fine you know that's that's their business that's what they want to do and it's okay so and un unless it's now like if somebody if, if you if you come up now this one goes to the men now you you hero men hero cousin hero uncle it's not okay for you to just walk up to someone just because they are your cath or kathia or they are your ka shiramwe or your cousin it's not okay for you to just walk up and touch them in places they are not uncomfortable with what are these places for some people, it can be as simple as touching their hair. For some people, it can be touching their waist. For some people, it can be their arm, their hands, their shoulder, their butt. Whatever it is, it's not okay for you to just walk up and start touching someone in that manner. Unless we've both had a, 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 an agreement or we've both had this discussion and it's something that we both do with each other, then in that case it's okay but if that's not a thing that happens between the two of us as now adults then it's not okay for you to do it at all and if the person is not of the same age of you if the person is a minor then do not even consider it because that person is a minor they are under age and it's a rape period so it's not like, okay guys so just um do that. basically i oh. feel like for you to rape someone or to sexually harass someone you kind of have to see them in a sexual way okay right? so um i don't think you'd sexually harass someone assault someone or rape someone if you do not um if you haven't sexualized them right 
cool so if we agree on that then i would like to say like give this example that commonly happens in the hero family so you have a 13 year old 12 year old 11 year old maybe even younger sometimes they can even be like a whole two year old okay so um you have this very young child and she's just at home and she's sitting there with her mom and then this guy comes over now this guy is either an uncle or a um the cousin right so um this person comes over and they go like this to the mom um hi uh like for example oh honey um please uh, um raise your child and then like kind of like raise her in a in a make her a woman like re groom her or like teach her how to be a good woman and then um i am so i can marry this child one day like what no <laughs> no you didn't because already when he says that it means they have put that sexual uh, um they looked at your child and they saw that uh, um oh they they they, they sexualized your child okay so as a parent we need to speak up when a man walks up and says these things about our kids because it's not okay at all what you can instead say what i'm okay with is when the guy comes over and this one i like a lot and like i'm, a, I'm i agree with this one 100 percent. and this is what should be happening in the first place right so um what happens uh, um, in other cases um, or other, you know, the better men, um, what they do is when they come, like or what I would agree with is when this guy comes to his, uh, uh, to my house now and my 10 year old, 13 year old, I don't know, child is at home, right? And he comes and he's like, oh, Ine, uh, honey, sorry, oh, honey, um, you know, uh, um, um, raise your child well, teach her, you know, how to be a woman and, you know, those whole things, groom hair, those things. And, but then instead of saying groom hair for me, you know, they say groom hair for my son, for my daughter or, you know, the situation. Obviously, this um, child isn't or might not want to date his child or his yeah cousin or whatever. That, that's that's not what my child might want at the time being but it's something that they might want as well you know so it's not that is different that's not the same as you walking up and saying hey um groom your child for me so they can be my child no that's not the same but when you walk up and say oh um um groom your child so i can marry them off to my child one day you know that's that, that's different and that's uh, um some some that's a, a, a traditional thing that we practice that i totally agree with that i totally um stand by and i think it's okay for that to happen but uh, um for you as a whole grown man waking up into my child's life and telling and telling me i should groom my child so that you can marry my child no you are not marrying my child my child is getting married to another child that's his age or you know whatever but um I don't know, but um, it's not okay, guys. Um, so um, I feel like these are some of the practices that we practice in our tradition or that hetero men do that I feel like uh, it's not okay. Um, stop sexual sexualizing people's kids and stop coming up to people's kids and feeling like you can touch them wherever you want or you can hold or put your arm around them wherever you want. Like, that's not okay and that should not be practiced in that we have to put an end to that okay um we are moving we are revolving and if uh, um if our culture needs to also uh, um if not say i'm not saying let's change and adapt to western cultures or to other cultures but i'm just saying let's look at the things that we are doing that might not be okay they might have been okay back then like you know they might have been a practice that was okay back then but if you look at the crime rate Oh, the rate at which women are being raped nowadays like it's it's insane it's because men are having this mentality that they can do whatever they want to women okay so if we are install install instilling this in our in our into the minds of our sons at home 
by telling them they can do whatever they want with their cousins, what are we teaching them? Hmm? What are we teaching our children from home? Do we teach our kids to respect their sisters? Do we teach our kids to respect their cousins? Because I'm so sure if, you're, if, if you are a man who respects his sister, his cousin, his mama, you would know what is okay to do and what's not okay to do. Ugh, my nose keeps itching. I'm sorry, my nose is itching. Um, but yeah, you would know what is okay to touch, what is not okay to touch, when to touch, when not to touch. That's because you are taught respect from home, respect for a woman from home. So um, I challenge our moms, our parents, our dads to teach our brothers, our sisters, our cousins, our uncles the right way to approach, speak and treat a woman in the first place. To teach our cousins, our brothers and our uncles when to not sexualize someone things that you cannot say to someone places on a person's body that you cannot touch you cannot just touch without their permission so um yeah that's what i wanted to say guys so um those are a few things that we do in our tradition that i just feel like needs to adjust needs to be adjusted oh. <sighs> i'm sorry guys like my nose keeps itching i don't know why uh but um like I said, um, these are, I feel like, just a few things that we need to uh, change a little about our behavior, things that we do that we need to, you know, adjust and look at differently and do differently. So, um, also, parents, please, uh, let's teach our sons how to respect women, how to respect sisters. Like, you don't have to love someone, you just gotta respect them. So, um, let's teach... Um, each other how to love and respect each other from home. Maybe that way um, We won't be having that many people raping others. So, um, you know, um, the whole rape culture is such a big thing. It's such a thing that we um, There's a lot that has to be spoken on. There's a lot that needs to be changed But um, if we as a tradition or as a culture or as a tribe uh, Can change a few things that we do that um, to help avoid um, um, contributing to, 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 to rape or to, you know, uh, um, yeah, rape and sexual assault and harass, like all of that. Um, if there's something that we can do as a tribe, as a culture or as a tribe, then maybe we should do it. Like, why not? Why? It's not, it's not like we are asking to change our tradition or our culture. We're just asking to adjust certain things. Okay, guys. So, um, with that, with that being said, with the rambling and all of that, um, we've come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also, guys, it's very important that we have this open discussion about rape with our kids, our families. And so, um, I would like you guys to, um, Conversate with me in the comment section down below anything you want to say anything you want to contribute if you are a hero Or if you're not a hero, but it's just something that you want to contribute or add on to what I just said Even if it is to just take away from what I said. Oh, yeah to Leave a comment down below and let's talk about that. Okay, cool um, Thank you guys for watching this video if you watch this video until the end I love you guys so much and thank you for tuning in over and over again i love and appreciate that so much so um please hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet and thank you for staying tuned um, for staying tuned until the end of this video i love you guys so so much see you in my next video bye